Dragon Ball starts holding tight to thigh. 18. Chapter 1. Doctor, please bring me a general anesthesia package. General anesthesia? Sir, you know, this is just a simple little surgery to remove excess skin tissue. S.O. Question mark. Doesn't it work? Yes. But you have to add money. After paying the money, the doctor took out a slender syringe and plunged it into Mo Yuan's gluteal muscles. Then Mo Yuan closed his eyes peacefully. Dot. Dragon Ball World. In the mountains and forests near the northern capital of the Earth, a hollowed out mountain hides a hidden laboratory, and deep below the laboratory, an even more secluded secret room. The computer is running fast. In the culture vessel led with a nutrient solution, the cells of the Earth's martial arts masters, Saiyans, and Namex have been fused together to form a bug like embryo. A white haired old man in a brown jacket with a hairline moving to the back of his head looked at the embryos in the culture vessel with a face full of reluctance. At this time, Dr. Gra had not yet transformed himself into a human being. It's been too long, I can't wait so long. According to the computer budget, the genes in these cells are thoroughly fused, and it will take at least two or three decades to mature. You know, these are the cells of the major races in the universe. No matter how clever Dr. Gro is, he can't make his fusion speed faster. And Dr. Gra is well aware of his physical condition, and although he is still healthy, he will deny not live for so long. Unless Dr. Gra shook his head, even if he did, he didn't want to wait so long. He has long had enough of the days when Sun Wukong was still alive. He didn't want to see Sun Wukong and his gang bouncing on the earth for a moment. Sun Wukong, the man who ruined his life's hard work, should have gone to hell early. Dr. Gro took a deep look at the embryo, turned off the lights and prepared to leave the place. Here he decided to give up, but not completely, because he did not shut down the computer, but let it continue to run and continue to study. It's just that his own mind will not continue to focus on this. And the transformation of the twin siblings a few years ago is nearing completion. It was the closest he had come to success in all his human experiments. What's more, in this experiment, Dr. Gra focused all his functions on the permanent energy, furnace and the power enhancement function. It would deniably be more powerful than those artificial humans before it. If successful, even without this ultimate artificial human, Dr. Gro is sure to completely eliminate the Monkey King. Thinking of this, Dr. Gro's face looked much better, closed the door, and left slowly. It's just that Dr. Gro didn't notice that the moment he closed the door, a shimmer of light in their culture vessel liquid, and then merged into the embryo. After the shimmer of light melted into the embryo, the cells of various races in the embryo suddenly seem to have no barriers and instantly fuse together. And the embryo also enters rapid growth. Even the shape of the original insect has gradually changed as it grows. None of this is known, and even Dr. Gra hasn't set foot in it since. Dot. Time eyes, white horses pass over the horse. Five years is adding. Not much has changed in the underground secret laboratory compared to years ago. The computer is still running, and most things haven't changed. The only thing that has changed is the embryo in the culture vessel. In five years, the original bug-shaped embryo is gone. In his place was a cute little boy who looked to be only four or years old. He has short soft hair in light purple and a small Y split horn on each side of his head. A stout tail also grew from the tail vertebrae. This tail is not the tail of a Saiyan monkey, nor is it the shape of a dinosaur-like tail like Frieza. Instead, it was a tail covered with light purple scales like his hair, and a worm-shaped tail in at the end of the tail. Other than that, it is no different from ordinary humans. The little boy was naked and shrunk into a ball in the cultivation vessel. Well, how am I in the water? Am I not having surgery in the hospital? I also gave myself a whole anesthesia package. Mo Yuan couldn't control his body. His eyelids seemed to be welded, and he couldn't open them. No matter how hard he tried, this feeling is like a ghost pressing the bed. The consciousness is extremely clear, but the body is completely uncontrollable. Although he couldn't open his eyes, he could feel that his whole body was now wrapped in water. The peculiar thing is that he did not drown without an oxygen mask. Is the hospital already so good now? But I can't use such a high-tech thing for this surgery, right? Just when Mo Yuan was whining in his heart, a huge memory poured directly into his mind, like a great aunt who visited for the RST time, very suddenly, without giving him a little time to prepare. Sun Wukong, Vegeta, Freezer, King Curd, Bike, Klin, Tanjin Rice. In the past of years, the computer collected the cells of Freezer and his further King Curd. The memory not only contains the information of these people, but also their various martial arts moves and their own evolution. And a command, kill the Monkey King. Did I travel to the world of Dragon Ball? Also became a big bug like Sharu. Mo Yuan combined with the memories that appeared out of thin air in his mind, and the only thing that could correspond to it was the character of Sharu in Dragon Ball. Although he has loved the anime Dragon Ball since he was a child, it is also often used to launch a turtle pike high gong into the air or raise both hands above the head to condense a vitality bomb. But, he ordered the haul, I just like to watch it, you sent me the scene as an onlooker. I still have 100 acres of land at home, 20 houses waiting for me to collect rent, and most importantly, 
The browsing history in my computer and mobile phone has not been deleted. So, please give this precious opportunity to others. Moreover, others crossing are either saving people from being hit by cars, or they are terminally ill. I just went to cut a bag, cross out, excess skin tissue, which can also be crossed. Have the conditions for crossing become so low now? Mo Yuan gritted his teeth in his heart. You know, this is the world of Dragon Ball, the world of explosive danger. Compared to Dragon Ball, the world of I-Legend next door and playing bitchy seems a bit childlike. And he has also become a villain bigger bug. Isn't this the rhythm of the proper boxed lunch? That's right. Mo Yuan suddenly had a ash of light. He has seen a lot of plots like this in novels. Most of the crossers are born without his golden partner. The system. And which of those who have a system is not CEO? Marry Bei I Fumai, and reach the peak of life. Unable to control his body to speak, Mo Yuan began to shout in a pious stone in his heart. System. System. System daddy. Dad. Dot forehead kiss mother. Am I just one of the few unsystematic lucky geese? Dot. Chapter 2. Mo Yuan felt that his life, perhaps insect birth, was dark. Even if there is no system, now I can't even control my own body. He now wants to leave this place of right and wrong and run to a deserted wilderness where no one lives incognito. There are two possibilities for staying in the lab. Because Mo Yuan is still not sure what time and space he is in now. If it is a future time and space, he can still survive and when his body can control it, it is not too late to leave. But if it is the main space time, it will not be long before he is found and destroyed by Klin and Dat. Mo Yuan didn't want to give his life to the so-called fate, so he now has to take control of his body as soon as possible and leave this place of right and wrong. As for the instructions Dr. Gro gave him in his head, he didn't want to care. Have you eaten enough to GHT against the son of the noodles? Think you've lived too long? Don't say that he doesn't have any golden gears now. Even if there is a system or something, he won't want to kill Sun Wukong. After all, if you want to survive, you have to rely on Sun Wukong to solve the hidden dangers in the future. Is it bad that the sky is falling and Goku is topping it? Otherwise, it is difficult to say whether he can survive the Buu chapter based on his own words. Not only that, but he wouldn't do anything that included absorbing other people's life energy to push himself to evolve. Although he may not seem like a person now, he is still essentially human. As a person who grew up in peacetime, Mo Yuan, let alone cannibalism, is to kill people and he is also very resistant in his heart. Mo Yuan desperately wanted to open his eyes, but his eyelids did not move. He felt like he was now paralyzed below the scalp. Only consciousness is still awake. Open me, with Mo Yuan's inner roar, his eyes nally, still not open. But he could see. Mo Yuan fell into a strange state. This state is mysterious. He saw it from another perspective, God's perspective. The whole laboratory can see it clearly, huh? Mo Yuan was a little puzzled when he saw the little boy in the cultivation vessel, but more of a joy, although this body has horns on the head and a tail behind it, but he still looks like a human being. Shalu in the original book is a bug, even if he evolves into a complete body and becomes a handsome humanoid bug, but the appearance still does not look like its own aesthetic. As for why there was such a big change, Mo Yuan felt that it might be a change after he crossed over. The appearance of Shara in the original book should be formed by the genes of Frieza and Bike. Now it may be because he crossed over, so the appearance has become a shape dominated by the genes of the Earthlings and Saiyans, and most importantly, Frieza and Vic are characterized by their races being genderless. And now, Mo Yuan looked at the stick that was beginning to take shape on his body and smiled gratifyingly. Men, born with two heads. Big head relies on brain, small head relies on recklessness, courage and resourcefulness. Fang is a real man, and one less of these two heads will have very serious consequences. Without a big head, it will die. Without a small head, the club dies. So both are indispensable. In addition, Mo Yuan also saw energy particles in the air. Most of them are white particles, and a small number are blue white particles. According to memory, Mo Yuan knew that the white particles were the so called Qi. Qi will enter the practitioner's body while he is cultivating and let him drive it. The blue white particles are vitality. When it comes to Genki, you can't help but think of Genki Bomb. The Genki Bomb is a move that gathers the energy of plants, humans, animals, and even atmospheric substances. However, vitality can only be driven by people with good hearts, and it will cause great harm to evil people, and the more evil people cause more harm to them. Conversely, the harm done to good-hearted and righteous people is very small. This is also why in the original book, Shahu and Black Goku did not use the Genki Bomb. The RST is that they don't necessarily succeed in it. Secondly, even if it is cast. The damage caused is estimated to be not as good as an energy bomb that he casually hits. This move, created by the King of the Northern Realm, although it has not been used many times, can be extremely effective every time. Even in the assembly of force, it became the key to Sun Wukong's display of freedom and extreme skill. Mo Yuan was surprised to end it. His body was actually absorbing Qi automatically. However, the rate of absorption is very slow. Can you make yourself absorb Qi faster? As soon as Mo Yuan gave birth to this thought, 
the energy particles in the air quickly owed and gathered around his body. And what surprised Mo Yuan the most was, among the energy particles gathered in the past, not only Qi, but also vitality gathered together, and it is also absorbed by its own body. After the vitality is absorbed by himself little by little, Mo Yuan found that he seemed to have a connection with his body. Although it only creates a slight connection, even a little ninja can't do it. But this small connection made Mo Yuan see in night hope. Before, he seemed to be imprisoned in this body by countless shackles, and the creation of this connection was like a key that opened one of the shackles. Now that he saw hope, Mo Yuan no longer delayed. Concentrate on absorbing the vitality in the air and strive to get out of trouble as soon as possible. Dot. Yu Fire Rabbit walked, in an instant, a year is etting. The ink in the cultivation vessel looked a little older than a year ago. During this year, Mo Yuan absorbed vitality all the time. However, the vitality of a place is limited, and after it is absorbed, it will take a while to slowly generate new vitality. Therefore, it took Mo Yuan a year to absorb enough vitality and completely control his body. Duh. As all the vitality in the air was absorbed by Mo Yuan, the last shackles in his body shattered. Feeling his body, Mo Yuan opened his eyes. Amethyst eyes shone with joy. A smile also appeared on the cute face with baby fat. It's been a year. Do you know how I spent this year? For a year, lonely and boring cultivation in this place where there is no day and night. Mo Yuan was about to be held crazy. Mo Yuan vowed that after leaving here, he must eat and have fun to make up for this year's losses. Although there is a nutrient solution here to replenish this body's needs at all times, he does not feel hungry. However, as a foodie, Mo Yuan said that wanting to eat is not entirely because of hunger. After a year here, the taste of birds is almost fading out of my mouth. It's time to get out of here. Mo Yuan's right hand clenched into a ST and exerted slight force. Boom! Exclamation mark. I saw a purple energy shoot out from Mo Yuan's street, a ST shattering the cultivation vessel and then bombarding the wall of the laboratory, producing a violent explosion. The violent explosion of Boom Boom also detonated the machine in the laboratory in an instant. For a while, the sound of explosions continued. Smoke and dust led the air. Backslash Mo Yuan looked at the scene in front of him with a confused expression. Please, I just want to sneak out of here, okay? It can only be said that Mo Yuan underestimated the power in his body. You know, 10,000 combat power in this world is enough to destroy the Earth. Dot. Chapter 3 Above the underground laboratory, a shriveled old man with a broken wrist walked into the laboratory a little embarrassed. This person is none other than Dr. Gro. Today, Dr. Gro has transformed himself into a human being, gaining permanent life and terrifying powers. Originally, Dr. Gro, with himself and the RT Shuman number 19, could eliminate Sun Wukong's group. I never expected that Sun Wukong's strength would be so strong. Now that the laboratory has also been exposed, he has reached the end of his life. Now it is to GHD all the whole cards and completely eliminate Sun Wukong and his group. Otherwise, all that awaits him is defeat and death. If I could, I really didn't want to wake these guys. But when things got to this point, I didn't have a choice. Dr. Gro clutched the controller in his hand and stood in front of two recuperation chambers with 17 and 18 written on them. Hopefully, they've fixed it. Dr. Gro read through the glass and looked at the people in the 17 recuperation chamber, chanting words in his mouth. Dr. Gro pressed a button next to it. Ha! Huh. The rest warehouse slowly opened, and Dr. Gro stared at the people inside very cautiously, and cold sweat unconsciously broke out on his forehead. A handsome looking teenager wearing a black t-shirt, an orange scarf, and straight black hair came out of it. Dr. Gro forced himself to compose. Have you woken up already? Number 17? There. Young man, that is, 17, slowly turned round, and out of the corner of his eye he saw their controller in Dr. Gro's hand. With a submissive face, he said, you're early. Dr. Gro, hearing 17's words, Dr. Gro suddenly felt a little littered. Are you saying hello to me? 17's expression did not change, and he replied, Of course, you are my biological father. Looks like it's been pxed. Drive. Dr. Gro's heart was ecstatic. This time I see that your monkey king is still dead. Then I will wake up the 18th. Without any hesitation, Dr. Gro directly opened the 18 rest warehouse. After relaxing a little, Dr. Gro's hand holding the controller unconsciously loosened a little. As the recuperation warehouse was opened, the 18th inside opened his blue eyes, and there was no unnecessary expression on his cold and beautiful face. 18, who woke up, noticed number 17, who was standing straight next to him, like a bodyguard. After glancing at 17, the twins' telepathy made her quickly understand. Turning to face Dr. Gro, he saw the controller in his hand. You're early. Dr. Gro. 18's greeting tone was as calm as a programmed robot. And that's exactly what Dr. Gro wants. Even you greet me. Dr. Gro was overjoyed. Number 18 still calmly replied, This is a normal thing. It looks like you both recovered automatically. Looking at such a number 18, Dr. Gro's tense nerves completely relaxed. When he RST woke up the siblings six years ago, he was almost killed by them. If it weren't for the controller, he wouldn't be alive. This also blames himself, too eager to succeed. 
focusing on enhancing the strength of Atishi humans, resulting in its control function deteriorating. Seeing the obedient appearance of the two on the 17th and 18th, Dr. Gro immediately put on a leadership posture. This time, you must be good and follow my orders, those companions of Sun Wukong will come here and clean them up immediately. You know, Dr. Gro commanded with his hands on his back. Yes, got it. Number 17 and number 18 nodded obediently. Bang bang. Not long after Dr. Gro's words fell, there was a sound of banging on the door outside their laboratory. After learning at the door that Dr. Gro had returned to the laboratory, Vic and Tanjin Fan and Clint slammed the door of the laboratory. Here I look confused, they seem to be in a hurry, but they are not very urgent. They've arrived, those stupid guys who don't know if they're alive or dead are already at their door. It's time for you to play. Go and beat them all over the ground to ND their teeth. Dr. Gro let out a smug smirk. At this time, Seventeen suddenly appeared behind Dr. Gro and grabbed the controller in drive. Gro's hand. Number Seventeen, what are you doing? Dr. Gro looked at Number Seventeen in amazement. He didn't expect that the obedient appearance of No. Seventeen and Number Eighteen just now was pretended. It's a pity that it's too late to say anything. The controller is not in hand. Dr. Gro already has No. Capital to order them. Unless he builds another controller now. But 17th and 18th will nightly not give him this opportunity. The controller is in hand, and the 17th and 18th do not need to continue to disguise. Isn't this thing capable of urgently shutting down our energy controllers, just in case, right? I had to destroy this thing. Saying that, 17 gently squeezed his hand, and the thing that controlled their life gate was instantly crushed. Number 17, what are you going to do? You're not kidding, are you? I don't want to sleep any longer. Smelly old man. Number 17 looked at Dr. Gro with mocking eyes. At the door of the laboratory, Vegeta listened to the conversation inside. The corners of his mouth were crooked, and he showed an indescribable smile. It's just a cyborg, vulnerable in front of my proud Super Saiyan Prince Vegeta. If you see food destroys artificial humans, I will dispel this idea. Vegeta said to Vicky was about to destroy the lab along with the contents inside. Don't be like this. You don't know how powerful artificial humans are. As the future space-time drunks, he is well aware of the power of artificial humans, the death of relatives and friends, the tragic situation of the future world and the earth, everything comes to mind. Trunks doesn't want this space-time to become the same as the future space-time he is in. You give me a mouth. Vegeta turned to Trunks and shouted. Get out of the way, big bastard. Vegeta raised his hand against the lab door. Trunks on the side pleaded bitterly to Vegeta, I beg you. Run away with everyone for the time being. After Mr. Monkey King's health is better, we will formulate countermeasures to have a chance of victory. Unfortunately, what Trunks doesn't know is that the proud Saiyan Prince Vegeta hates him there. Most when others say that he is inferior to the Monkey King, you can come without him. What he Kakarot can do, so can I Vegeta, and will do it better than him. Vegeta ignored Trunks' dissuasion on the side, palmed his palm against the door of their laboratory, and a Kaigong wave shot out. I saw that the strong gate that could not be opened by the three of Bic for a while was instantly deformed and collapsed to the ground under the bombardment of the Kaigong wave. A puff of smoke cleared. Three people in the lab were revealed. A blonde girl with cold hair, a handsome teenager with black hair, and a panicked, shriveled old man. Unlike the old man, the young girl had a faint smile on her face. Dot. Chapter 4 Drunks, these guys are the same guys you described, are they? Vegeta asked. Yes, yes. Seeing the familiar faces of number 17 and number 18, the muscles of Trunks' whole body instantly tensed. Be ready to attack at any time. Are those two numbers 17 and 18? From their looks alone, it was hard for Clint to imagine that the two of them would be the monsters that Trunks said would almost destroy all of humanity. You must not be deceived by their appearance. In fact, the two of them are ruthless and cruel people. As Trunks spoke, his eyes waxed on number 17 and number 18, not daring to relax for a moment. They are what I said before. Sun Wukong's dog party, you can't underestimate them, they not only defeated the 19th, but also almost killed me, although he had a lot of contents in his transformation of nose. 17 and number 18, Dr. Gro remained cautious and cautious, like a great enemy. Number 19, you also made an artificial human? Number 17 asked. Good, so that's the case that the doctor used him to transform himself into an artificial human? Number 17 took a look at Dr. Gro's mechanical body and understood his intention to make number 19. Then he asked is the 19th energy absorption type. That's right. Why is the function of the new artificial human changed back to the old type of energy? Absorption number 18, who had not spoken next to him, became a little interested and asked. Without waiting for Dr. Gro to answer, 18 tilted his head and teased, it's because the power of artificial humans with unlimited energy is too powerful for you to control, right? Yes, Dr. Gro replied stiff why? Nonsense, if I could control it. I would destroy you two right now. That's why you will be defeated. 18's mischievous voice echoed in Dr. Gro's ears again. Dr. Gro's face instantly darkened. Having said that, I also want face. Can't I wait until there is no one? 
Dr. Groh was indignant, can't control it. Hearing the conversation between the 18th and Dr. Groh, Vic and the others were very surprised, and Trunks Nully understands why artificial humans in future time and space will take pleasure in killing people. It turned out to be because there was no way to control it. Because Dr. Groh's purpose in creating androids is only to destroy the Monkey King and them, he has no idea of destroying the world. In this way, everything makes sense. It's useless to talk about this matter, don't you hurry up and clean up those guys? Dr. Groh, who was poked in a sore spot, became angry, forgot his situation for a moment, and ordered 17th and 18th. Old man, have you been verbose enough? We only kill when we want to. You, what did you say? Looking at number 17's uncaring appearance, Dr. Groh instantly calmed down as if he had been poured with a pot of cold water. Without a controller, he is now a sh on a chopping block, at the mercy of others. Dr. Groh was furious, but he just dared to be angry now, and his back teeth were almost crushed by himself. Abominable. Dr. Groh glanced at the damaged controller on the ground. If the controller is not broken. 18 hugged his arm, walked a few steps forward nonchalantly, and inadvertently stepped on the remote control on the ground. Click. The remote control completely turned into a pile of debris. Number 16. 18 walked to a recuperation warehouse with the number 16 written on the ground lying at on the ground. 18 turned back and asked Dr. Grow, is this also an unlimited energy type? But it seems that the type is not the same as us. The body seems to be quite large. I don't know where it is different. Number 18 looked carefully at the people in the rest warehouse. Seeing that 18 became interested in number 16, Dr. Grow hurriedly shouted, don't touch him. Number 18, you must not touch him. Number 17, it looks interesting. Number 18, you let number 16 come out. 17, who was originally not interested, saw Dr. Groh so shocked, and the interest suddenly came. No, stop. Dr. Groh saw that number 18 was about to release number 16 and quickly stopped it. Do you want to destroy the whole world? Dr. Groh knew that the bomb in 16's body was enough to blow up the entire Earth into cosmic dust. What's more, number 16 is a fail test product with an unstable personality, who knows if he will suddenly want to detonate the bomb in his body. When it will be too late to say anything, the whole planet will be blown up. So Dr. Grom must not let them release the 16th. Dr. Grom said to number 17 with a serious expression, number 16 is a failed experiment, and you must not start him. However, number 17 and number 18 didn't take Dr. Grom's words seriously at all, and even because of his blockage. They wanted to release number 16 even more. Stop, don't move him. Seeing that number 18 was about to make a move, Dr. Grow hurried over and grabbed number 18's arm, trying to stop her behavior. Don't eat lady like tofu. The old and weak Dr. Grow was the opponent of number 18, and he was thrown by number 18's arm and taken to the ground. Number 18, since it is a failed work, why is it so well preserved? I heard that you have already disposed of even the 15th drive. Dot Grow, I'm going to remake it later. In short, you are not allowed to do it. If he does, he may kill me and you. Dr. Grow was panicked even afraid, are you saying he might kill us? 17 activated the scanning device in his body and scanned 16. Judging from the data, it is clear that our ability is relatively strong. Leave him alone, start him, number 18, road 17. He couldn't waste any more time with Dr. Grow. You have repeatedly disobeyed my orders, and you, like the 16th, are all failed works, and if you go and do it well, I will let you have no energy action. Enraged, Dr. Grow began to speak silently. Number 17 didn't care. But the controller is no longer there. Just do it again. Drip heard the sound behind him about to open the recuperation warehouse, and Dr. Grow was anxious. Turning back to number 18, he roared, I said so much, don't you still understand? Can't let their 16th start. What he didn't notice was that when he said he was going to remake a controller, 17's eyes changed. No one wants to be controlled by others. So when Dr. Grow turned to speak to 18, 17 moved. Moving to Dr. Grow's back at high speed, his hand claw shaped, and he pulled it towards Dr. Grow's back. Dr. Groh looked in disbelief at the palm that had been worn from behind him to his chest. Number 17, you guy, why? I'm the one who made you, how could you treat me like this? However, only 17's powerful kick answered him. 17 kicked Dr. Groh's neck hard, directly kicking Dr. Groh's neck off, and the whole head you out and fell in front of Clint. You ungrateful things, Dr. Groh, who has transformed himself into a human being, can continue to live as long as his head is not broken. Ungrateful? Hearing Dr. Groh's words. The anger in 17's heart was immediately ignited. Number 17 jumped and landed his foot on Dr. Groh's head. Boom. At this moment, a huge explosion sounded from underground, and at the same time, a not very powerful aura came out from underground. Ha ha ha. It's him. If it succeeds, he will denightly avenge me. Ha ha ha. Hearing the movement coming from underground, Dr. Groh burst out laughing. But before he could laugh, his whole head was trampled by number 17. Dot. Chapter 5 17 looked at the pile of debris mixed with brain pulp under his feet and pouted. Che, I'm still going to ask, 
Conscated, but number 17 doesn't care, after all, the breath is underground, just nd the entrance to their underground, if there is no entrance, then blow up an entrance. After all, a great man once said, there is no road in the world, and when there are more people who bomb, a road is blown up. Lucian, I won't let you succeed, and I must not let the artificial humans increase any more. Trunks was trembling, he couldn't bear it anymore. First, there was an artificial man number 16, and now the chi coming from the ground, although not particularly strong can even be said to be weak for him now. But the appearance of Dr. Grob before his death just now made Trunks ring alarm bells in his heart. After all, Chi can be hidden, so although the Chi under the ground is weak, it is not necessarily really weak. The strength of the 17th and 18th was very clear to him. 16 is an existence that can kill 17 and 18th and even destroy the world in drive. Grow's mouth and the underground one may be even more powerful than the 16th. With such a big variable, Trunks can no longer bear it. Ah, the golden aura wrapped around the whole body, and the purple hair instantly turned golden, and stood tall. The turquoise eyes were full of killing intent. Trunks now has only one idea, to destroy the 16th who has not yet woken up. As for the 17th and 18th, Trunks knew very well that even if he tried his best, he could not beat it. The huge chi gathered in Trunks' hands, exuding a terrifying aura. Without waiting for everyone to react, the Kai Gong wave in Trunks' hand bombarded towards the rest warehouse of number 16. Boom! Exclamation mark. Under the bombardment of Kai Gong waves, the entire laboratory, along with the entire mountain, was instantly raised to the ground. If you want to make a move, you should at least inform everyone. Clint complained a little. Although they ran away in time, everyone except Vegeta was affected, and although they were not injured, they looked very embarrassed. Stupid stuff. To actually make such a pointless move. Vegeta scolded. What do you say doesn't make sense? See for yourself. Trunks looked in the direction Vegeta had said. I saw the billowing smoke dissipate, and on the blown mountain. Number 17 and number 18 stood there, unscathed, including the rest compartment containing number 16. It was also protected by number 18 without any damage. That little level of attack is just a meaningless waste of energy, Vegeta said dismissively. Trunks didn't say a word. His STS clenched. The attack just now failed to eliminate the 16th, and now it is even more impossible, unless Vegeta is willing to involve the two androids with him, and then Kin and the others will destroy 16. But this is impossible, because Vegeta won't do that. He'll just watch as 17 and 18 release 16. Even if he tried to stop it, he would be stopped by Vegeta. So Trunks could only watch as the 16th was released. Soon, the 18th opened the rest warehouse, and a man with orange Mohican hairstyle and a green combat uniform slowly got up from there. Inside, the two-meter-tall body of number 16, although he did not say a word, also caused a great sense of oppression to Kin and the others. Hey number 16, this is the RST time I've seen you move. You haven't been out in years, have you? Faced with 17's question. 16 did not answer, but just stood in silence. 17 didn't care, and continued. Dr. Grow, he never wanted you to act, you know, he said. You might kill me and the 18th number. 18, that's why we want to know what's going on. Number 16 still didn't speak, just glanced at it with his eyes. Number 18, do you have any opinions, or don't you want to say it? In my opinion, he's just silent by nature. Number 17 hugged his arm and didn't care. Forget it, let's go. Let's go see the guy underground who can help Dr. Grow avenge him. Number 17 paused, and then asked number 16, Does Dr. Grow still have a laboratory underground? Do you know where the entrance is? Hearing number 17's words, number 16's eyes changed. Then he regained his composure, shook his head and said, I don't know. Number 17, it's not easy. Nelly speak. Your reaction is exactly the same as the command Dr. Grow entered. 18 was a little surprised. Such a perfect hearty shield person. Dr. Grow actually kept him locked up. After searching nearby, the three Nelly found a deep underground passage. Without much hesitation, the three you directly in. That. Shall we go down and see that guy together? Clint saw this deep hole and was a little scared. Vegeta looked at Clint's trembling appearance and smiled contemptuously. Oh, if you are afraid, stay here. Anyway, you waste is useless. With that, Vegeta jumped into the hole. Trunks behind him opened his mouth slightly, and just as he wanted to say something, he saw that Vegeta had jumped in, so he had to close his mouth and jump in with him. The remaining few people looked at each other, and Nully went in together. Dot. Mo Yuan was panicked now. Just now he heard a huge explosion from above. There were also those two terrifying auras, at least a hundred times stronger than himself. Through the movements above, Mo Yuan suspected that it should be time for the 17th and 18th to wake up. Just now, he made such a big movement under this, and his own chi must have been exposed, although he has already converged his breath. But the people above must have noticed it. If you go out by yourself now, you may be blocked. If you don't go out, maybe the people above will come down in a while. At this moment, several unhurried footsteps came from the door. 16th, 17th, 18th. Through his heart's eyes, 
Mo Yuan saw the three people at the door. The heart eye is the ability to awaken when Mo Yuan is still unable to control the body. Through the heart eye, Mo Yuan can see everything within a kilometer. And as strength grows, so will this range. At RST, he could only cover the range of this laboratory. But now it has extended to a kilometer. It's just that in this underground, a kilometer outside the laboratory is full of land. So Mo Yuan can only use this ability to absorb vitality. As for whether the heart eye has other functions, Mo Yuan is not clear at present, and he has to explore it slowly. Seeing the three getting closer and closer, Mo Yuan's A's quickly scanned the surroundings to see where he could hide. But the entire laboratory was blown up by himself, and there was no place to hide people. And he is not the original Shalu himself, he will not drill holes. Besides, it's a little too late to drill holes. What to do? Are you going to get a box lunch so soon? Dot. Chapter 6 I didn't expect there to be a laboratory so deep underground. Number 18 looked at the iron gate in front of him and was a little surprised. This is Dr. Gro's proud work, and Dr. Gro still wants to rely on him to take revenge. Although he said this, Number 17's tone was it and he didn't care at all. Boom. Number 17 and Number 18 kicked the door open with one kick. The laboratory that had experienced the explosion was completely invisible, and the power system was damaged in the explosion. Five engines were missing inside. It was dark, and there was no light at all. But that's just for normal people. 16, 17 and 18th are all artificial humans, even in the dark, without affecting their vision in the slightest. So dark, not even a light. Vegeta and Drunks, who followed behind, also arrived. Seeing that it was pitch black, Vegeta condensed a glowing gas catapult in his hand and shot above the laboratory. Under the light of the air bomb like a small sun, the entire laboratory instantly lit up. At this time, Everyone's eyes were also focused on the small gear hiding in the corner of their laboratory. Mo Yuan, underscore. When the surroundings lit up, Mo Yuan knew that he was nished. The tail behind him also swung restlessly because of fear. Poof. Seeing Mo Yuan's shrunken appearance in the corner, number 18 was accidentally cute and couldn't help laughing. Oh, it turned out to be a little ghost. Vegeta looked at Mo Yuan, who was shrinking in their corner, and said with great disdain, I can take out 56 imps like this in one go. Seeing Mo Yuan's weak appearance, Vegeta instantly lost interest. He is the proud Super Saiyan Prince Vegeta, and he doesn't bother to do anything like this weak person. 17th and 16th were also surprised. If you come in and see a strong man of more than 2 meters, it feels normal. At the same time, they were also curious, can such a little ghost really avenge him as Dr. Gro said? But this imp is different from them. The 16th is fully mechanical, while the 17th and 18th are modi ed by their human body, although they are not the same, they have one thing in common, that is, they have no breath. And Mo Yuan is different, he has breath, and this is the biggest difference between them. Mo Yuan's weakness also made Kin and the others breathe a sigh of relief. If another powerful enemy comes, they will really collapse. Trunks looked at Mo Yuan, and after sighing in relief, his eyes were full of killing intent. Unlike the others, he couldn't afford to lose, and there were no chips behind him for him to gamble. Therefore, he wanted to end an opportunity to eliminate Mo Yuan before he became stronger. Although Mo Yuan looks weak now. Dr. Gro's reaction before his death makes him unable to underestimate Mo Yuan no matter what. At the same time, he was worried, because so many years have passed in the future space-time, if the ink of the future space-time also awakens at this time. So what is the reason why it has not appeared in future time and space for so many years? Is it death or hide in the shadows? If he is hidden in the shadows, then what is his current strength? One question after another came to mind in Trunks. Like the sword of Damocles hanging over your head. Trunks couldn't imagine that after all the hardships he had gone back to the future space-time. He would destroy the 17th and 18th numbers of the future space-time. Then, out of nowhere, and Mo Yuan who grew to the point that he couldn't resist came out. Trunks, what happened to you? Clint shook Trunks, a little worried. Trunks eyes full of killing intent stared at Mo Yuan and the chi in his body became disordered and tyrannical, like a bomb that can be detonated at any moment. The changes in trunks were also seen by Seventeen and others. The three of them instantly disappeared in place, and appeared beside Mo Yuan with high speed movement, blocking in front of him. Although Dr. Gross said that Mo Yuan would avenge him, but the Seventeenth did not care. It's like Dr. Gross said that Sixteen would kill them, but they released Sixteen anyway. The reason is also simple, because they are of the same kind. Although the Seventeenth used to be human, but now it is different. So they will protect Mo Yuan now, and it is the same reason that they just released the 16th. Bastard. Do you want to kill us all? Vegeta slammed an elbow on trunks in the abdomen and cursed angrily. You know, this is underground, and the space is so small, if trunks suddenly attacks, everyone here can't escape. He Vegeta can be killed, but he must not die like this. Gag. Trunks whole person bowed into a prawn, and the bile was almost beaten out by Vegeta. After being elbowed, trunks nearly calmed down. Just now, he really couldn't control himself. I'm sorry. Trunks apologized in a low voice. Tanjin Fan patted Trunks' shoulder and didn't say anything. Trunks, 
Don't put too much pressure on yourself, everything will be knee when Higoku gets better. Clint comforted. Yes, Mr. Goku is still alive, and everything still has to turn around. Thinking of the Monkey King, Trunks face looked much better. HMPH. Hearing Clint mention Goku, Vegeta snorted coldly and said displeased, Sun Wukong will die when he dies. Anyway, today I will kill all these puppet dolls. I'm the strongest super Saiyan. The crisis was temporarily lifted, and Mo Yuan breathed a sigh of relief. Although he was hiding in a corner with his back on his back, what happened just now was clearly seen by his heart. When the three people of number 16, number 17 and number 18 blocked in front of him, Mo Yuan was still very moved in his heart. Hey, little ghost. Are you also an artificial human transformed by humans? It doesn't look like us. Number 17 asked, holding his arm. First, I'm not called Hey. The dead memory suddenly began to attack Mo Yuan. Mo Yuan shook his head and shook off the strange thoughts. Then he turned around, looked at number 17 with big watery eyes, shook his head, and said, No. Oh? So you're a robot? 17 paused, shook his head, and said to himself, No, the robot can't have a breath. Mo Yuan nodded and did not deny it. Well. I am indeed not a robot. Mo Yuan's A swept the person on the other side, and did not tell his reason. If he said his origin, Mo Yuan was sure that except for Vegeta, the rest of the people on their opposite side would denightly desperately destroy themselves, even if they themselves died. Here, number 17 saw Mo Yuan's concerns and did not continue to ask, and it was not too late to talk when there was no one. Did you say enough? Vegeta interrupted their conversation, he was already starting to get impatient. Since becoming a Super Saiyan, the powerful power in his body has swelled to the point that he feels that he is already invincible. Vegeta stared directly at the three, number 16, 17, and 18, but he was dismissive of Mo Yuan. However, Trunks' eyes waxed on Mo Yuan, because he was well aware of the strength of number 17 and number 18, and knew that he would denightly not be able to eliminate them today, he only hoped to eliminate Mo Yuan today. Mo Yuan, who was stared at by Trunks, shivered, oops, targeted, in order to hold the little life. Mo Yuan decided to end the Athai to hug tightly. After glancing around, Mo Yuan locked his gaze on a certain cold blonde lady. The fart ran over and hugged his thigh. The milky voice said milkily, Sister, hug. Dot. Chapter 7 Children are trouble. Number 18 had a look of disgust on his face. Backslash bad. Shouldn't you kick it away? Listening to Number 18's disgusted tone, Mo Yuan's heart trembled. Just when Mo Yuan didn't know what to do, a burst of sweet fragrance surrounded him. I saw Number 18 bend down and pick up Mo Yuan was holding his thighs, into his arms. Before Mo Yuan could react, he felt black in front of his eyes, his face was soft, and he was forced to accept the facial cleanser from number 18. Number 18 held Mo Yuan without changing color, but the two ears hidden in the golden hair were already red. Lane 18, AA. Triple A soft, tiny, I want to nibble on his face. No, no, it will be regarded as a woman. Eater. But I really want to think about it tilde slash 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 if Mo Yuan knew number 18's thoughts. He would nightly tell her loudly, please spur me on. After being entangled in his heart for a long time, number 18 still gave up the decision to take the next mouth, but the hand holding Mo Yuan tightened a little, and the corners of his mouth seemed to hook a subtle arc. Although 18 is an artificial human, she is also a girl and is born with no resistance to cute things. Just now. She still thought that the little bald head over there was quite cute, but now compared with the pearl of Mo Yuan, that little bald head, gee, don't mention it. In fact, from the RST time he saw Mo Yuan just now, number 18 wanted to hold this peerless little cutie in his arms and love it well, but because she was afraid of scaring the little cutie, she didn't start. Unexpectedly, the peak turned around, and the little cutie actually threw herself into the net. In order not to scare the little cutie, 18 decided to refrain for a while. When the time is ripe. E tilde. Number 18 hugged Mo Yuan, thinking cranky, while playing with the tail behind Mo Yuan with his hand. The face involuntarily showed a change. Crossed out, a charming smile. Mo Yuan felt very strange. Number 18 obviously disliked his appearance, but he hugged him so tightly, and kept playing with his tail. A little itchy. Phew. Mo Yuan struggled for a while, and Nelly broke free from the milky bun. Fortunately, he has the ability of the Freezer Clan, so he cannot breathe, otherwise he will be suffocated. After breaking free, Mo Yuan looked up for the RSD time and saw the weird smile on number 18's face. I don't know why, Mo Yuan felt that something was wrong with this woman. Sensing Mo Yuan's gaze, the smile on number 18's face instantly disappeared, and it suddenly became serious, as if the smile just now had never appeared. Let's go. 17 ignored Vegeta and said lightly, The purpose of coming here has been achieved, and now it is time for them to go and eliminate the Monkey King. 
The group completely ignored Vegeta and the others who blocked the door of the laboratory, passed them directly. Except for Vegeta, several others watched as their muscles tightened one by one, wary of their sudden attack. However, nothing happened and on the 17th they passed them as if they were passers by. Damn it. Dare to ignore me Prince Vegeta. Seeing that the 17th few people didn't look at him, and left directly, Vegeta was so angry, that his teeth were almost crushed. His eyes stared earthly at their backs. He vowed to kill these puppet dolls today. The more he thought about it, the more angry he became, and Vegeta almost couldn't control himself. Drunks, I don't feel like that kid is a bad person, Klin whispered to Drunks. Um, Tanjin Fan and Vic also somewhat agreed. They all felt that the chi on Mo Yuan's body was not evil. It could be said to be very peaceful, and, even made people want to get close to him. The chi in a person's body often reveals the person's heart, like Frieza, Vegeta, and even the chi on Vic has some evil feelings. The three people of number 16, number 17 and number 18 have no breath on them, so they can't use their breath to determine good and evil, and they can only determine that they are evil based on future time and space. And the breath on Mo Yuan's body, without exaggeration, is even purer than Wukong's breath. Compared to him, Vegeta was more of an evil person. If Sun Wukong were here, he would nightly tell them very really that Mo Yuan was a good person. Because Sun Wukong can clearly feel the rich vitality on Mo Yuan's body. No one knows Genki better than he does. Even the Realm King who created the Genki bomb couldn't. People who are evil in their hearts absolutely cannot use the Yuan Qi, and even he can only rely on borrowing the Yuan Qi and cannot absorb the Yuan Qi to cultivate. And the King of the Realm, who created the Yuan Qi bomb, was even very difficult to use their powerful move of the Yuan Qi bomb. It can only be said that it can be used, but the success rate is not high. In fact, what they can feel Klin, Trunks can also feel. But he was afraid, and he couldn't afford to gamble. What if this is disguised? After all, Dr. Gro can create artificial humans that are stronger than Super Saiyans, and it is not impossible to disguise their breath. While they were talking, Vegeta was already chasing Seventeen and his group with anger. Trunks and the others were afraid that Vegeta would be too presumptuous, so they quickly stopped talking and followed. After Mo Yuan and several people left the underground laboratory, they were away directly. On the 17th, they are going to ND Sun Wukong. Although Mo Yuan's combat effectiveness is not high, he can still white away. But after coming out, Number 18 still held him tightly in his arms. Mo Yuan was also happy to be held by Number 18. One is willing to hug. The other is willing to be held. Although the two did not talk all the way, the atmosphere became very subtle and surprisingly harmonious. 17, Ying in the front, suddenly descended. The 18th and 16th followed. Moments later, the three landed on the road below. The surrounding area is green and green, and the fresh air and the sound of bird song around their ears are pleasant. Number 16 looked at his surroundings and couldn't help but show an amiable smile. 17, why did you suddenly land? Number 18 asked. Number 17 replied slowly, how boring it is to rush. Let's go over while having fun. Look at the lazy appearance of number 17, as if I am going for a spring outing. You're going to walk over? Drive over. There should be someone driving by this road soon, so we'll take his car. Men just do things that don't make sense, and I can't imagine that you still have a little humanity. Having said that, 18 did not reject 17's proposal. She doesn't care too much about this kind of little thing. The group stood in the middle of the road waiting for the car to pass. Suddenly, an undisguised powerful aura in the rear was approaching them at an extremely fast speed. Not long after, a gyo with a golden light all over his body landed near them. Mo Yuan also raised his head in the arms of number 18, looking at the comer, feeling the powerful aura on his body. I couldn't help but sigh in my heart. Golden arches didn't let you speak for their loss. See Vegeta's haircut, especially the shiny golden hairstyle. After turning into a Super Saiyan, Mo Yuan wanted to say to him, Get me a spicy chicken leg burger. Dot. Chapter 8 Hey, can't imagine you're still here. It's really unexpected. Vegeta couldn't ND them when she came out of the ground. Since the Artishi man has no breath, and Mo Yuan is held by number 18, he also hides the breath, causing Vegeta to look around like a headless Y. Unexpectedly, I actually found them near the laboratory. You look different from your temperament just now. It's not just temperament. Vegeta's tone was at, but there seemed to be a few big words written on his face. Lao Tzu is going to start pretending. Mo Yuan, who was held in his arms by number 18 felt safe at the moment, and looked back at Vegeta with interest. I ask you, where are you going now? Vegeta said in a commanding tone. Go and the Monkey King. The goal was to kill him. Number 18 makes no secret of his purpose and does not care about being known. Sure enough, I guessed. But you can't see him, because you will die at my hands RST. Here we go. Vegeta is going to start pretending. Mo Yuan couldn't bear to see the next picture. How arrogant Vegeta is now. How badly he will be beaten in a while. Number 17 and number 18 looked at each other and smiled. Is it funny? This is the only time to laugh. After becoming a Super Saiyan, the powerful power in his body made Vegeta extremely conceited, and at this time, 
He felt that he was invincible in the world. For artificial humans there is no I at all. I even think that I can kill all artificial people by myself. It seems that too much conceit is a characteristic of Saiyans, and Sun Wukong is also like this, and the guys who lack enough ability but insist on heroes will probably not live long. Conceited, incompetent, heroic, will not live long. Seventeen's words were like a blade piercing Vegeta's self-esteem. Every word can make Vegeta angry. The golden aura on Vegeta's body soared by three points and the terrifying aura became stronger and stronger. Vegeta was so angry that he clenched his teeth and used so much force that two human-shaped tendons were exposed on the door of his brain. Maya, two people have walked into the Golden Arch. The three big characters' Golden Arch were really rooted in Mo Yuan's mind. You shut up for me. As a puppet, you actually dare to talk nonsense. I want to tell you all to die. Without corpses, who will send you to death RST? Vegeta was furious and yelled at them. Stinky brat, or the woman holding the imp, or the big guy, or do you want me to send all of you to the western sky in one go? However, only the chuckles of the 17th and 18th echoed Vegeta's fury. Number 18 said lightly, it's so funny. What did you say? 18's tone made Vegeta feel like a clown jumping up and down. However, number 18 ignored him, turned to number 16 and said, number 16, I want to see your strength you deal with him. Sixteen couldn't see any expression on his face, I refuse. Seventeenth and eighteenth obviously did not expect that sixteenth would actually refuse, and they were stunned for a while. This guy's mind is clear and he has been frightened by my strength. The naive Vegeta was even a little complacent. I don't know if people really move, I'm afraid you won't last two minutes. According to the original plot, soon the eighteenth will take matters into his own hands and beat Vegeta. Mo Yuan was ready to leave this gentle township, and yet, number eighteen gave number seventeen a look. Number seventeen glanced at number eighteen, and then at Mo Yuan, who was held in his arms by number eighteen. Dot. Underscore, com okay, got it. This twin sister has loved cute things since she was a child, and this hobby has remained even after being transformed into a human being. At this time, she obviously didn't want to be disturbed. In that case, let me, as a younger brother, solve this little problem. Number 17 walked out, facing the imposing Vegeta, number 17 was as quiet as water, there was no breath on his body, and if Vegeta closed his eyes, he would not notice that there was a person standing on the opposite side. Number 17 hooked his ninja at Vegeta. Seeing 17's gesture of not taking him seriously at all, Vegeta's eyes began to glow green, with anger. Throughout the day today, Vegeta was either ignored or on the way to being ignored. The anger in the heart has long reached the threshold, and Seventeen hooked Vizinja like a fuse, completely detonating Vegeta's bomb. Die. The enraged Vegeta could no longer bear the humiliation. The golden aims on his body burned, and the whole person turned into a golden light and rushed towards number seventeen. In the blink of an eye, Vegeta appeared next to number seventeen and struck seventeen in their head with a powerful whip leg. Boom. I saw number seventeen raise his right arm and lightly block Vegeta's leg and the collision of power made a dull loud noise. Vegeta's pupils shrank sharply, and although this kick was not full strength, it also used for six points of force, but it was blocked so easily. But instead of panicking, Vegeta became more excited, and if his opponent was too weak, then he didn't end it interesting even if he won. The warlike nature of the Saiyans is evident in Vegeta. Vegeta turned around in the air, braced his hands on the ground, and kicked his feet hard, hitting seventeen in the abdomen. Seventeen also reacted quickly, blocking Vegeta's kicks with his hands and ying into the air. With his force, Vegeta braced his hands and quickly caught up with Seventeen. The speed was so fast that he couldn't see Vegeta at all, and he could only see a golden band of light soaring straight into the sky. Feeling the powerful power on Vegeta's body, the corners of Seventeen's mouth rose slightly. This Vegeta's strength far exceeded the information given to them by Dr. Gro. Interesting. The gear of Seventeen also disappeared into the air in an instant scuffing with Vegeta. In an instant, the sky and the earth became their battle elves. I saw a golden band of light and a black year constantly ying in the sky and the earth, colliding constantly. Each collision would make a dull loud noise, and the surrounding air vibrated violently, and layers of invisible air waves stirred. The clouds in the sky were torn to shreds. The trees on the ground were broken at the waist, and even the solid cement irrigated ground was dissatisfied with the spider web like Rax. 18. Afraid that Mo Yuan would be harmed put up a green protective shield around him. Although Vegeta's power exceeded the information given to them by Dr. Gro, it was even equal to the power of 18. But the 18th will not take it to heart. After all, they are artificial people with unlimited energy and unlimited physical strength. No matter how powerful Vegeta is, he will be exhausted, but they can always remain in their heyday. What's more, her younger brother, 17, was more than one step stronger than her in terms of strength. And Mo Yuan, who was holding number 18 in his arms, was surprised to empty out. Vegeta and seventeen speed that was invisible to the naked eye was invisible to his heart's eye, as if they had been slowed down countless times, and their every movement was clearly seen. Most importantly, their moves were really memorized by Mo Yuan, and absorbed and 
transformed into his own combat experience. Mo Yuan closed his eyes, like a sponge, frantically absorbing these valuable combat experiences. Dot. Chapter 9 Vegeta became more and more frightened. Although he did not exert his full strength at the beginning, he only exerted half of his strength. But over time, he's now using 8 points of strength. 17, on the other hand, calmly responded to his attacks as at the beginning. Is he better than me? No way, I'm the strongest Super Saiyan in the universe. I denightly can't lose to such a puppet. Ah, with Vegeta's roar, the muscles in his body tensed, and his momentum instantly reached the maximum. Grabbed one of number 17's hands, pulled it hard, and then held the hammer in both hands and slammed it down on number 17's back. Boom. 17 fell into the ground like a meteor smashing the ground out of a large crater. Vegeta condensed the air bomb with both hands and shot a complete set of Prince tactics in the direction of the fall of 17. In an instant, a series of explosions was deafening. The trees around number 17 were blown to pieces, and those farther away were also broken in their shockwave of the explosion. In the middle of a lush forest, a wasteland was instantly formed. Forest, thank you Tony Vegeta for the Mediterranean haircut, I thank you to the whole family. Underscore Trunks and the others, who did not know when they arrived looked at the scene in front of them. In amazement, is it solved? Trunks felt the powerful auron on Vegeta's body and was shocked. If he is as strong as Vegeta, he can denightly GHT against the Cyborg 17 and 18 of the future world. Since he could not sense the breath of an artificial human, there was no way to determine whether 17 had been eliminated. But, Trunks noticed the expression of the 18th, and instead of being afraid, there was a sneer on the corner of his mouth. Trunks couldn't help but be startled in his heart, and shouted at Vegeta, Dad, be careful. The voice just fell. Vegeta saw a dark shadow occurring in the smoke. Ahem. Uh -huh. I saw 17, unscathed, emerge from the smoke, move in front of Vegeta at high speed, and hit Vegeta one knee on Vegeta's abdomen. Under the heavy blow, Vegeta only felt that all his internal organs were beaten into a mess, and a mouthful of blood couldn't help but spit out of his mouth. Vegeta covered his abdomen, the whole person bowed into a large prawn, and the golden aura on his body occurred on and off and even the dancing air technique could not be maintained. The whole person was shaking in midair. Number 17 saw that Vegeta was about to fall, and grabbed his hair. Ha! Huh. Number 17 did not speak, but only snorted softly. But this sound was worse in Vegeta's ears than any nasty words. Almost stomped his pride, his self-esteem completely to the ground, and crushed it a few times. Unforgivable. The humiliation in his heart turned into anger, and Vegeta felt that a shackle in his body seemed to loosen a little. There was a stream of heat in his back and the golden aura that was about to be extinguished on his body ignited again, and it was even stronger than just now. The burst of gas instantly pushed number 17 away, and Vegeta quickly rushed towards number 17 after breaking free. He had forgotten the wounds on his body, ignored the severe pain on his body, and now he had only one goal, to kill number 17. Fists, feet, knees, and elbows were all turned into sharp weapons, attacking number 17 like a storm. Originally, Vegeta's normal combat power was 10 million, but after becoming a Super Saiyan, it had a 50-fold bonus, and the combat power was 500 million. Now, although Vegeta's basic combat power has not changed, his Super Saiyan status has increased from 50 times to 50. The combat power became 550 million. Oh? It seems to be getting stronger again. Number 17 felt the power of Vegeta's STS and feet, a little surprised. But he didn't particularly care, because this power could not hurt him. If the strength of the 17th is converted into combat power, it is as much as 700 million. Vegeta and 17 are getting head to head, and although Vegeta's combat effectiveness has increased a bit, it is still far inferior to 17, and every attack is easily taken by 17. Damn, it's actually so strong. Vegeta had already exerted his full strength, but every attack was unsuccessful. His heart was like a mirror, knowing that he was still inferior to the 17th. But the pride of the Saiyans does not allow him to admit defeat, even if he dies in battle. 17 was also not in the mood to play with Vegeta and directly exerted his full strength. 17, who has unlimited physical strength and energy, is still in its heyday. Vegeta was defeated by the attack of the 17th with full re. Within a few moments, Vegeta was beaten all over and his combat clothes were torn. Their pants are still intact, though Trunks was dumbfounded. He didn't expect that the strength of the artificial people in this world was so terrifying, and with the strength that Vegeta later displayed, he could completely kill the artificial people in the future. Time and space. But in this time and space, he was actually beaten by artificial people without any ability to GHT back. With such a powerful artificial human, can we really resist? Trunks muttered, a trace of fear ashing in his eyes, doubting his abilities. The battle eld was changing rapidly, and Klin and the others never expected that Vegeta, who was still in good spirits just now, was now beaten like a dead dog. Although Trunks was a little scared, he couldn't stand idly by any more when he saw Vegeta being beaten like this. Trunks pulled out the sword behind his back and instantly transformed into a Super Saiyan. Brandishing his sword, 
He rushed towards 17, ready to save Vegeta. Sister, aren't you going to help? Number 18 thought for a moment and looked at number 16. However, the 16th was completely indifferent. 18 knew that it was impossible to let number 16 make a move, sighed secretly in his heart, and reluctantly handed Mo Yuan to number 16. Protect him. Mo Yuan was a little confused. Before I felt that number 18 was very disgusted with herself. How do I feel that she is a little reluctant to let go of herself? What's going on? Sister, you must pay attention to safety. Mo Yuan shouted at the back of the 18th. Hearing Mo Yuan's words, number 18 left his gear, and a bright smile appeared on his originally cold face, like her was blooming in the snow, so dazzling that it was impossible to look away. The shiny head of Klin, who had been secretly observing number 18 on the other side, turned red, and his heartbeat couldn't stop accelerating and Klin now had only one thought in his mind. How can such a cute girl be a bad person? Trunks must have made a mistake, right? After number 18 left, Mo Yuan knew to number 16's shoulder and sat down. Very peculiar, although the 16th is a pure robot, his surface is not cold, but like humans, it has body temperature. For the 16th, Mo Yuan still knows very well. This big man, who doesn't seem to be easy to mess with, is actually a very gentle person. If it weren't for Dr. Groh's plan to kill Sun Wukong, he might not have had the idea of killing people in his life. Number 16 also didn't care about Mo Yuan's behavior, looking at the birds in the distance with gentle eyes, and a kind smile appeared on his rough face. In this way, one of the two looked at the birds in the distance, and the other watched the battle in the air. The atmosphere is surprisingly harmonious, because the distance was too far away, it was beyond the range of Mo Yuan's heart's eyes, and Mo Yuan could only rely on Qi and eyes to feel the battle in the distance. The battle didn't last long and Vegeta himself had been beaten all over by the 17th, and he could exert half of his strength. Trunks is not to mention, the combat power is only 400 million, and it is even more vulnerable to the 18th with 500 million combat power and unlimited physical strength and energy. In less than minutes, Vegeta and Trunks put on a quick Saiyan show. Vic on the ground turned green with fright, but he was afraid, and he and Tanjin saw that. Vegeta and Trunks were beaten and immediately rushed to the rescue. Only Klin was left in place so frightened that he didn't even have the courage to strike. Dot. Chapter 10 Actually, it was defeated so quickly. Just now, Bic and Tanjin Fan rushed up to help, but in less than a minute, they were knocked down, by the three punches and kicks of number 17 and number 18. Only the 17th and 18th were left standing on the battle eld, and the others fell to the ground. Klin looked at the people lying on the ground with uncertain life and death, shocked and afraid. These people are almost the strongest people on earth. Is the earth really unsaved? The emotion of fear lingered in his heart, Klin felt cold, his body trembled involuntarily, and cold sweat instantly soaked his clothes. Suddenly, number 17 and number 18 looked back at Klin. Clinton felt as if he was being stared at by a wild beast, and a bone-piercing chill surged down his spine. Trembling took two steps back, trying to avoid the sight of the two. The 17th threw towards Klin. Number 18, on the other hand, glanced at Klin lightly and turned anew in the other direction. Seeing the 17th thing towards him, Klin felt like he was going to die. Even the Super Saiyan couldn't last a few rounds, let alone he, an earthling, was so scared that he couldn't scratch his nose. Seeing Klin's appearance, number 17 was completely uninterested in eating. Don't worry, all of them are still alive, hurry up and give them fairy bins to eat, won't they be able to recover quickly? Hearing the words of the 17th, Clinton was a little stunned. Everyone is still alive. Clint suddenly felt that these artificial people did not seem to be very bad. When they improve a little, you are always welcome to challenge again. After that, 17th diameter left, no longer paying attention to Clint, who was stunned in place. Dot. After number 18 knew back, he stood next to number 16, his eyes staring directly at Mo Yuan. Mo Yuan was a little creepy by the 18th straight hooked A's. How did he feel that there was a hint in the eyes of the 18th hidden bitterness? Mo Yuan felt that he should have something to say to his thighs. So, he smiled sweetly at number 18, sister, you're back, no injuries, right? They can't hurt me. 18's eyes continued to stare at Mo Yuan, negation underscore negation, shouldn't it? An unrealistic idea suddenly appeared in Mo Yuan's heart. No matter, try it. If you are stared at like this again, people will be looked at stupidly. So Mo Yuan opened his hands and coquettishly said to number 18 in a milky voice, sister, hug. Hearing this, number 18 immediately you up, because number 16 was too high and Mo Yuan sat on number 16's shoulder, and took Mo Yuan off number 16's shoulder, while hugging. He also pouted, and said with some disgust, HMPH carrot children are trouble. Mo Yuan, underscore woman, you have nothing to hide under my heart, so, is this Tsundir, under the observation of Mo Yuan's heart? The 18th's demeanor was clearly seen. The mouth is troublesome, but the eyes reveal joy and satisfaction. Tilda, ha Tilda woman. Mo Yuan can be regarded as having thoroughly seen through the 18th and he is a little, Sandia. 18, 
who thought that Mo Yuan was held in his arms and could not see his expression, showed a smug smile. Number 16 looked at number 18 inexplicably, feeling that this woman was really strange, and she would be disgusted and happy for a while. Noticing the look in 16's eyes, number 18 glared at him viciously. This woman is sick. Number 16 silently looked away and looked at the bird in the distance, and the expression on his face softened. Or cute little animals, after a while, the 17th came over. There are very few cars passing by in this neighborhood, let's go to a slightly more lively place. There was no opinion on the proposal of the 17th. The group you away directly. Only Clint was still in place, staring at their departing backs in amazement. It wasn't until they all disappeared into the sky that Clint came to his senses. That's right. I'm going to save everyone. Clint Nally remembered the people who had been knocked unconscious. Quickly jumped into the deep valley blasted out by the aftermath of the battle. Take out the fairy bins and give them one by one. Clint hesitated for a moment between giving Vegeta fairy bins or not, and Nally chose to give Vegeta food. Although Vegeta is extremely egotistical and unsociable. But after all, he is one of the most combative people on the planet. His life is still of great help in the GHT against artificial humans. The injuries on the people who ate the fairy bins recovered instantly, as if the injuries they had suffered before were actually an illusion. Trunks looked at the sword that was broken in two beside him, and his expression was solemn. The sword followed him on his campaign for many years, and Freezer was split in half by a single sword. After getting with artificial humans for so many years in the future time and space, this sword is intact. And today, with just one swing, this sword was broken in two. The artificial man in this time and space is too strong, like a boulder pressed against the chest, pressing trunks breathlessly. After the crowd recovered, Clint told them what had happened after they fainted. What? They even know about our possession of fairy beans? When Vic heard that the artificial man actually knew about Xiandu, his face suddenly turned green. After knowing the efficacy of fairy beans, they are not killed, are they fearless, or are they fearless? If it's okay if they are arrogant. I'm afraid they still have a backhand. Thinking that such a powerful artificial human might actually have a backhand, Vic couldn't help, but feel terrified. At the same time, he also secretly made a decision in his heart. Vegeta listened to them discussing how powerful the androids were, and the more they listened, the more angry they became. Remembering what he said before, it was like a loud slap on his face. Vegeta's self-esteem and pride seemed like a joke at this moment. Vegeta instantly exploded and the powerful chi blew up countless sandstones. Phew. Vegeta turned into a beam of light and disappeared into the sky. He wants to become stronger until he can kill these artificial people and take back his self, esteem and pride. And, in this battle, he has seen hope of surpassing the Super Saiyan. He is sure that it will not be long before he becomes stronger, stronger than everyone. Seeing Vegeta leave, Trunks also wants to catch up, but was stopped by Bike. Trunks, don't go after him. Let him be alone and quiet. Trunks looked back at Bike. Vic calmly said. He became a Super Saiyan and regained his absolute self-esteem and pride in the past, but this time he was defeated so easily by the artificial man, which probably gave him a very big blow. Hearing Bike's words, Trunks also calmed down. Yes, like my mother said, Dad is such a proud person, today's defeat will denightly give him a big blow, or let him calm down himself. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.